gelato print on demand tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can get started with print on demand with gelato so let's get into it now what exactly is print on demand well print on demand is when you don't have to deal with warehousing you don't have to deal with shipping all you do is you create your designs on gelato and when someone orders them off of your store, or even if you want to order them for yourself, you will directly be sending the product to the customer and you are just serving as the person that designs. Gelato does the printing, the creating, the warehousing, and the sending for you. So to get started, simply head on over to gelato.com and click on sign up for free. Once you click on sign up for free, you have different ways that you can sign up. So you can sign up with your email address, Facebook, Google, or Apple. I'm just going to proceed into my account. It's really simple. And the process is just you create a password. Now, once you've done that, this is going to be your actual print on demand section. So from here, the first step you usually do is link your store. So your store might be on Etsy, you might be selling on Shopify, or wherever you are selling, you're going to click on stores on the left. And once you click on stores on the left, you have the option to link your store. So I'm going to delete this pre-existing store my store and then i'll connect a different store so i have shopify over here so i'm going to link shopify to my gelato account now what this will enable you to do is that you can sell your products on your shopify store on your wix store on your big commerce store whichever platform you're using you're going to select that and then just integrate gelato for shopify they have a application that you can integrate to make it easier for you so just click on install over here and once you do that you will have the installation be completed so as you guys can see our installation has now been completed now we have two options we can manually make approvals for our orders or import all of our orders that are for a gelato print on demand product and directly get them to be printed and sent to the customer so I will just click on connect your product or, you know, just keep these settings. And now from here, we can get started with actually using Gelato for print on demand. So to get started, you will see on the left, you have a product catalog. This is the section where you choose what type of product you want to design. Then on the left, you also have a personalization studio, which allows your customers to add a personalized element. This can be their names, any personalization offers that you want to add. Then you have some templates that you can create. You also have branded packaging, so you can build your own branded labels, branded insert as well. And you can also link multiple different stores and build multiple different labels as well. So currently they're only offering labels and inserts. And if you do both of them together, you will get a 30% discount on Gelato Gold. Then on the left, you have analytics and a price navigator, as well as a mock-up studio. So I'm going to go into the product catalog and let's start designing with Gelato Print On Demand. So on the left, you have different types of products that you can create. You have mugs, tote bags, wall art, stationary items. It might be cards, it might be wall art, different types of tote bags, women's clothing. In within women's clothing, you have different types of clothing. So let's say that I want to create a, a basic t-shirt. So if I click on basic t-shirt, I have multiple different suppliers offering multiple different variations on the product. So you will see this is a classic crew neck. This is one of their, these are the best sellers. And then below that, you even have Gelato's pick. So this is a premium unisex crew neck t-shirt and they have so many different colors as well as embroideries available and you will find a lot of different variations for some products only printing might be available for some product only embroideries might be available some you guys can see this t-shirt it's a v-neck t-shirt however they only are offering three basic colors however some of these are offering a lot of different colors so that's totally up to you on which type of product you want to use I am going to go on ahead and use, I think I want to go with the best seller or one of Gelato's picks, like this unisex t-shirt. And once you click on the product that you want to design, you can get started with actually designing the product and how you want your personal designs to fit in. So we're just going to proceed over here. 
and go into this t-shirt so once you click on this t-shirt you have the delivery option so you usually want to add the country where you're mostly going to be shipping so if your store is based in canada and you're only shipping to canada you can add that however if you're doing international orders as well you can choose to just add the countries where you find that you will be selling the most and then the rest of your shippings will be calculated according to their own shipping or delivery prices then you will see the product price and the standard price and then below that you have two options direct to garment which is a print and then you have embroidery so obviously for embroidery the prices are going to be different and once we do that we have the different colors that we can pick out from you guys can see for dtg we have a lot of colors for embroideries we have a limitation of color so i'm going to go on ahead and choose the color that i want i want to go with a black color like this and once i have the black color ready i can click on start designing and then once we do that we can get started with the product design so you will see you have product design options on the front then you have the bottom section, the back section, you have the inner neck, you have the outer neck, then you have the left sleeve and the right sleeve. You can add designs in any of these sections. So I will click on drop your design over here and I will click on choose file and I will upload a file from my desktop. Now your product design can really be anything that you want. You can get started with Canva designs. You can build any design that fits your personal style. So I'm just going to be printing this logo. And once I click on the design, I can, once I have uploaded, I can just add it from the left and then you will see, you will get a warning. So if the warning is present, that means that your product design size is not as great. And if you want, you should probably increase, you should probably get it in a better resolution or increase the design resolution. This is just a logo. So I was planning on decreasing the size anyways. So it looks fine but if you are someone that is going to be printing out large designs make sure that the dpi or the quality of your image is good because if the dpi is really low then it's not going to look good the print is going to look off and that is why you need to have a high resolution image so make sure it's a high resolution image then even as you are designing you can alternate the design color so if i want even now i can pick out a different color like this and then below that you even have sizes now let's say on the back of my design i want to add this and then i'll just reduce the size of this as well and then place it over here and if i want it to be on the inner neck on the left sleeve i want to maybe keep that simple but we can add more design elements as well once you do that you will see on the top left you have the pricing the print on front print on back now with different prints you will be charged more if you add you know a left sleeve or right sleeve you will be charged accordingly to the number of designs that will be added now once you do that you can go on ahead and go into even layers to layer out your designs you can insert text from the left you can insert shapes as well as build different layouts as well once you have completed your design, click on add to order on the top right. And once you click on add to order on the top right, you will see that you have the draft saved and you can click on add product to add this product to your actual Shopify store. Before you do that, obviously, you will have the option to continue to shipping and then purchase this product for yourself once so you can actually get a idea of what your product is going to look like. And once you have completed your design and you're satisfied with how it looks you can then integrate that product into your shopify store so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe